right, you're with Al, and this is Chronicles of a Not Yet Champion Golfer. Today's all about practicing on the golf course, staying sharp over the winter, keeping yourself going, doing challenges on the golf course, not necessarily about putting either. When the greens are like winterish. The holotines, the holotines, that the holotines. Leaves everywhere. Where is my golf ball? Muddy. Nope. Three holes, three different challenges. Keep you scoring, keep you sharp. Just hit myself in the eye there. Keep you ready for next season. Let's do it. This one, this one doesn't have a name. Points. I'll just call it points. We're on a par five. Dog hook left to right. I'm going to hit a fade. And if I hit the fairway, I get a point. Don't worry about that practice swing, that's just what I'm working on. I'll talk you through that some other time. One point eight the fairway, one point if you hit the green in regulation, and then we've got bonus points. If you get it within 15 feet, you get an extra point. If you hit it within nine feet, two points, six feet, three points, three feet, well, then you're loving life and you get four points. And if you hold it, and you're on five extra points. Testing the whole game from the tee to the green. It's for when the greens aren't very good, you know, if you like winter and you've had a bit of work done to your greens, like a lot of courses do, and you don't want to put, this is good for that. This is good when you just want to play, put yourself under pressure, still scoring. You can sort of compare your scores down the line as well, play against different people, this sort of game. But keep a database of what you've done, see how you're improving. This is a par five. We're off the junior teaser, to be fair. I'm going to play as a par four to the next one. Oh, I've missed the fairway. I thought I'd hit the fairway. I've missed the fairway. Damn. There's my ball. That's a winter lie right there, isn't it? It's a winter lie right there. I'm trying to get it as close as I can here. I've got 154 yards. No points because I missed the fairway. I want to get it within three foot, really. I get that four points. Well, I want to hold it. Get it within five points. Get it within. Get it in that nine foot range. I'll be happy with that. Nine, nine, 154. I have no idea where that's finished. Looked all right though, line was good. I'm gonna play this game a lot over the winter because it, it puts you under pressure all the time. You've got to score well, you've got to, if you get like, like I said, that database, like a database, make yourself a spreadsheet. You can be sort of competitive on your own. I'm always playing on my own in the winter. Either no one wants to play golf because the weather's crap or no one wants to play golf with me. Let's put it down to the first one, eh? Makes me feel better. Just getting up to the green here. There's my ball. Picked up points. Decent. It's kind of made up for not hitting the fairway when I thought I had. Hold on, I'm going to put this down and measure it here. Always do your pitch mark. Three, six. Oh, just outside the six. Seven feet. Give myself that for eagle off the junior tees. No points on the tee, on it? Because it missed the fairway. But one point hitting the green and inside nine feet, which is an extra two points in it. So three points in that hole. Play that nine holes, play 18 holes if you want, play as many holes as you want. I like to do it when I don't want to putt particularly because I don't want to see the ball missing. Sometimes in the winter, when they've done work to them, can sort of be something like the surface of the moon you don't really want to see the ball missing all the time so keep your points keep those scores going and it keeps you competitive over the winter right next game what's this one called this one's called drag off that pin there back left 130 i'm gonna hit this front right though about 115. one <laughs> hilarious golf pants Just hit myself in the eye. I was going to hit another one. I wasn't happy with that swing. It's good, isn't it? Solid.
Right, I've hit that front right there, even though the pin's back left, because I'm playing a game. So wherever you are on the green, you keep the pin, the ball, and the edge of the green all in line with each other, and you drag the ball off the green, and then you have to get it up and down. But it really puts your short game to test. It puts your long game to test as well, because you're trying to hit it into certain areas of the green and make it as easy as it can be to get it up and down. So that one, trying to hit that front right then, it's not much room to hit it because there's bunkers everywhere. Tough hole to play this on. But hit it front right. I can drag it off. I've got a pretty straightforward chip. I don't know if I've got it front right or not, but that's what I was trying to do anyway. Little room for error there, really. I need to hit it three yards further. And I had a simple chip from him. But it's over there. So now I've got to drop it in there. And I've got a 25 yard trap shot. Well in. Bunker. Wasn't a great drag off that, was it? Because I've got a long bunker shot now. I'm using a 54 because I like to go down my wedges the longer it is. This is 25 yards, so. Smash it out. I think that's a bit of the old over the top bunker shot jobby, that. It's alright though, a little fortunate bounce. Chance for the part. Oh, wait, there she is there. Oh, they put my golf bag down on the green there. Keep track of your score when you're doing this. You keep track. Putting yourself under pressure all the time. Every bunker shot, every chip shot, everything. Can't afford to duff it, really. Everything you're scoring on. No duffs, I'm being very positive these days. Uh. There's ducks here. And these ducks normally come running over, like waddling over like that to me when they're running. But they're not, not partaking today. Come on. Come on, ducks, come here. Not interested. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? No duck action. Okay, new challenge. Not hitting three wood. This one's called worst ball, two balls. Don't hit a bad one. It's all right. The ball. New angle. Mixing it up, aren't I? That was a good shot, by the way. Two decent ones. I'll explain the game now. Every place you hit the golf ball, you're going to hit two balls from. So, two balls from the tee. Pick the worst ball. Next shot. Wherever your worst ball is, it's two shots from there. Wherever the worst one ends up, two shots from there. Hit the green, try and get as low a score as you can. I don't do it with putts, I just do one putt because I want to try and keep a realistic score and I want to try and shoot level par playing this game. So the aim of the game is don't hit a bad shot. It's decent because you don't want to be on the practice ground in minus five hitting balls when it's freezing. It's not very enjoyable. This one, you're hitting more than one ball on the course. Don't do it when someone's behind you. Someone is behind me now, so I'm breaking the first rule of Fight Club. Don't do it when someone's behind you couple of balls, you're getting good practice on the golf course, you're putting yourself under pressure, you've got to hit good shots. If you hit a good one and then you follow up with a bad one, the good one's wasted because you've got to play it from where the worst one is. Right, we're all right here, me. Two shots. Worst one's in the right semi. Best one is just in the right of the fairway, but uh, that might even be in the right semi. One there on the right, one there on the left. So I've got to play the short one on the right. 165. One sixty five into wind. Seven iron. Six iron. That is a big win, that. No. Oh. Good. Very happy with that, but it doesn't count unless I a good one now. Pretty good as well. Happy as Larry. Right, I'm on the green. Both balls on the green. Worst one's like, what, 15 feet right? One's like 15 feet short. So I don't know what the worst one is, but I did what I said. Worst ball, don't hit a bad one. Not hit a bad one. Digger. Big JCB digger. A lot of stuff going on at the golf club today. A lot. Lot of stuff. 
worst one is this one, that one. Not close to that pin, eh? Doesn't count. Let's get in. Over there. Not a good pass, that. Worst ball par. A worst ball par is a good par. It's a theory to live by. I don't know how you'd apply that to anything else other than this game, but a worst ball par is a good par. It's been you saying. I think I'm done. Okay. It's in about three pretty straightforward games there. I've forgotten what they were. What was the first one? Uh, oh yeah, points on it. I need to come up with a better name. Anyone that can suggest a better name for that, just leave a comment, please. Point for it in the fairway. Point for it in the green. Lay up on par fives, don't go for a two because it's hard to do your points on. Bonus point, one point if you're inside 15 feet, two points inside nine feet, three points inside six feet, four points inside three feet, five points if you hold it. The other one is drag back, hit it on the green, drag it back off the green, keeping the pin in line with where your ball is, trying it up and down, keep a score. And the last one, worst ball, don't hit a bad shot. Two balls, hit it from the worst place every time and then keep score. I just use one putt, just because that's how I like to do it. You can use two putts if you want, but your score is going to be like 54 over par. Good on course practice for this winter. You don't have to stand out there suffering with 54 jackets on on the practice ground and minus five. You can come out on the course and do practice. It's just as effective. Keep sharp, keep scoring. Be ready for the season. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next Tuesday.